Well, Brooke was right. I'm headed back to the doctor. Mary Carl and I are taking care of chores again. Um, Sunday evening, Jason started feeling bad, and Monday, he was full-fledged sick. It was, the symptoms were just like when he had COVID the first time. Um, he's running a fever. He's just fatigued. He's, um, you know, just wanting to sleep all the time. And we went to the doctor Tuesday morning and they did a, a of course, another COVID test. It came back negative. They did a virus panel to test for other viruses. They sent it off. It came back. Everything was negative. So, um, we were sent home with the expectation that he would be better in a couple of days. Um, we're on day, today's day four, almost four and a half because it started Sunday. And he has, his fever has decreased um, in temperature. However, he's still not, he's just not 100%. So um, he doesn't know it, but I think I'm gonna take him back this afternoon and just make sure he doesn't need intravenous fluids and IV because he has had so much fever and it's just it takes takes so much out of your body so fast he they checked his urine when we went on Tuesday and he while he was not dehydrated he showed signs of um, possibility of becoming that way he has been drinking a lot but as you know a fever can just take it out of you really quickly what's up y'all just wanted to get you guys caught up on what's going on. <clears throat> Sunday, I started feeling a little bad. Monday got way worse. Monday was awful, and ever since Monday, it's been pretty bad. Just a high fever. It, it, some 102, 101, 102. No energy, body aches. Um, so that's what's been going on. Uh, I've taken two home test both negative I thought that I may have a different strain of that mess so Tuesday I went to the urgent care and they ran a bunch of tests on me everything came back negative did another test another swab and sent it off to check for uh, any other viruses it came back the next day all negative everything's good um, she listened to my lungs. My lungs sounded good. Blood pressure was good. Uh, did a analysis. All that was perfect. Everything. Everything's good. So, <clears throat> that's where we are right now. Uh, still, same thing. Um, uh, now, I will say this. The last, the last couple of mornings, I felt okay. Fever has gone away. But come around lunchtime, it all comes roaring back, and it really doesn't go away until the next morning. I keep thinking that that it's just going to go away. Now the urgent care uh, doctor, she thinks it's a virus, and that that my immune system was a little weak because all the stuff we've been going through, and then we got a virus, that or that I got a virus, and that it, it probably will eventually run its course. That's what I keep thinking too, but don't seem to be running this course. So that's what's going on. Probably gonna contact my my local doctor today and see what he says too. So that's where we're at. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up what's going on. And yeah, I got uh, Brooke and Mary Carl. They're handling things. Everything's good. And I'm gonna get over this mess soon. And I got a good, really good, right there you can see, nurse over here. <laughs> Arlo, it's watching over me. So um, today, once again, Mary Carl and I are taking care of chores, but today's a little bit different. We're not just gonna take care of chores. I'm gonna try to move Moody and the goats. Um, the, the grass gets really tall here really quick and with him being under the weather and I mean I had some symptoms too of, of not feeling good and kind of 
fatigued back the way I was when I had the, the virus, but I'm not, I'm able to go and do. Um, the grass in here is, is gotten a little bit too tall. <laughs> and this is where we had planned to move the goats and Moody back. It just got delayed a little bit since Jason got sick. So um, that's what I'm gonna attempt to do. I've got their feed ready. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna feed them and I'm gonna, I've already cut off the electric fence. I showed you that. And I'm gonna um, cut this wire and you'll see. I'll, I'll take you with me and we'll try to get these guys moved into some taller grass. How are you gonna get him through though? I'm gonna cut the fence at the top. Uh, look, he already found the new grass. Did he? Yeah. That was quick. I don't think he'll cross that line. I think I'll have yeah. time to. So we'll just come back and shut it? Hmm? We'll just come back and shut this little part? Or will it stay open? It'll stay open. Okay. that T-post to get in because it'll be electrified. <laughs> I don't want them going behind it, but I don't think they will. No. These, the ground is so hard. You can make it where they won't go behind it. You can put that other piece. Golly. I forgot about how hard it is to get it in the ground. I found a spot, but it was touching the fence. I might have to wet it first. Maybe that'll stay. other side. It's pretty good, isn't it? What? I don't think they'll try to squeeze through that little area. No. Okay. So now I'm going to cut the fence and use my little clips. He's not even worried about the wire. Okay. <laughs> well, if it had been on. <laughs> he would not have been happy. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this wire. I'm going to tie these two ends on and connect it to the Premier One fence. So the fence will be electrified all the way around and they can come back and forth. Because there's no way me by myself can move Moody's shelter 
to over here, which is what we initially planned. So this will be a temporary fix. Oh, the goats are coming. Hello, boys. All right, here we go. Cut. <laughs> Cheer, Joe. And just tie it on. We shut that gate behind no. us, didn't we? Okay, I better get running back over there. That should be good enough what you're doing right now, shouldn't it? Yeah, but I, I'm worried about the gate. See, it's wide open. That would have been a disaster. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to get out and shut it. when I get this fence hot. I know. What? Man, girl, get off and look up under there. There's ducklings, I hear them. What? Look at mama. Oh my gracious. A mama and a duck. That's what happens when we leave this abandoned for a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my gracious. So she's got a nest up under there. Uh -huh. Well, we didn't realize that, did we? No. Okay. Okay. So, what do you think? It looks good. Well, I really don't know that it looks good. No, but it looks good for them. He was so excited about seeing the green grass that he didn't even eat all his food. <laughs> Since it's such a long way from the front of the pasture where we moved them to the back, I'm going to take their water trough, one of them, up here and keep it full so that way they'll have water in two places. Off to the flower garden. Yeah, off. On to the other one. All right, so mission accomplished. Two girls moved a big old steer and a couple of goats. Last thing is to plug the power back in because we sure don't want those boys running loose. <laughs> So yesterday, Mary Carl and I got a bunch of plants for these awesome limited edition black green stalk planters. And I think, to me, the black is my favorite color. How about you, Mary Carl? Yeah. I, I mean, I think the green plants just look awesome in the black planter. And when we get our house built and it's completed, our plan is to move these up onto the porch and have them for these herbs to use in our kitchen. As y'all know, we're gonna be doing some cooking once we ever get moved in. <laughs> Good job, Mary Carl. And all you have to do is very simple. You just water it from the top and it's a self-watering container. So it waters each pocket individually from you watering the top. if anybody wants any scratch. They see a new face over here and they're not sure what to do. It's starting to come around. Hey Ruby and Rhonda. Redneck. Lydia. Oh, here comes Big Thomas. Come here, Thomas. Emma Jean, Felix, here they come. How much you gonna get you some scratch this morning, buddy? So if 
if you watch the podcast, you know that I have this um, turkey that hates me. And she's been sitting in a nesting box with no egg. Okay. Um, she's, she's broody, but turkey laying season's over. And every time I come in here to gather chicken eggs, she does a number on me. And um, you can see she's, she's not happy with me right now. It's, um, <laughs> it's not going over well. And this is what happens every day when I come to gather eggs. She just, she puts up a fight and there's nothing in her box. Okay, girl, I'm gonna leave you alone. <laughs> Brooke was right. I'm headed back to the doctor. I'm going to my primary doctor that I've been friends with for a long time. And he's in Selma. And he knows what's going on. And he said they're gonna run every test he can think of on me to see what's going on. So fingers crossed we can figure out or get me some relief. That'd be awesome. I'm just thankful he's in the car <laughs> and we're headed to find out something. Right. All right, <clears throat> got through seeing my dear buddy, Dr. Park, love him to death. He ran the gamut, all kinds of tests. I mean, everything, even an EKG, everything. And everything came back perfect. Blood work, all the tests, everything, except one thing. He ordered a chest X-ray <clears throat> and I have pneumonia in my right lung and he's pretty certain it's from the first COVID I had back a few weeks ago. So I got two shots today and I start a super powerful antibiotic in the morning. And he said, if, if, he's, if he's correct, then I should start to feel better probably tomorrow or the next day. That's right. So I'm so excited. I'm so glad you <laughs> oh, went. Gosh. I'm so glad I went. But he also said, if I do not feel better in, in, in a day, to call him ASAP because we're going to do something else. So that's what's going on with me right now. The antibiotic, though, he told me, he said, he said you cannot play around with this antibiotic. He said, it, you cannot get in the sun. You have to cover up. He said, I'm not talking about you're going to get a little sunburn. I'm talking about you're going in the hospital sunburn. So he said, nothing to play around with. So, and I got her, she's gonna make sure that I can tea. <laughs> but hopefully tomorrow, I will feel much better. Hopefully tomorrow. You've seen walking Fingers around crossed. outside in a hazmat suit. <laughs> you know I've got him protected. <laughs> well, he told me I could wear my big hat. I got those long sleeve fishing shirts that are 50 SPF. And he said, I, I, can, I can go outside as long as I cover up. Yes, so, but we're not we're not talking for a long time. No, we're not talking for long. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a few days. But that's what's going on, and hopefully tomorrow I'm better. Thank you.